Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're staying safe and keeping well. My name's Steve, I'm the Community Manager at ET, and I'm here to give you your first of two backer updates for the month of June. Referring back to May's updates, I explained that we received a new revision of ET's controller molding. We've checked it over, there's no further problems that have been found, and it looks like it's final at this stage. This is really good news. Another piece of good news this month is that the ET SteamVR dongle is ready for production. It's going through its certification process at the moment, but once it's been cleared, then we'll be in the situation where we can place the order with the manufacturer. At the moment, it's looking like those backers of the SteamVR dongle can expect to receive them late summer. If the ETA on that changes in any shape or form, I'll let you know. Now, as you know, I'm working my hardest to try and improve communication with you all. And that includes listening to any questions that you have raised via comments on um, Kickstarter or Indiegogo or via our Discord community. A couple of questions came in this week concerning the fact that people hadn't seen any footage of the ET finger tracking working in Steam VR games. I completely understand this concern. After all, we only demonstrated the finger tracking via a Unity app outside of Steam VR during our Kickstarter campaign. Finger tracking itself is actually working fine. The problem that we do have at the moment though is the skeletal animations aren't working within Steam VR. Now this is an issue with integrating ET's animations into the Steam VR driver. So we actually need Valve's help to resolve this. So we're in active communication with them trying to get this fixed. But as a workaround and a backup plan, we're also developing our own driver that enables those animations to work within VR. As soon as one of these two solutions is working okay, what I'll do is I'll create some gameplay footage for you, showing it working in VR chat and also Alex. They're the two that's been requested in Discord. Another request that came in from the community was to see the trackers themselves being stress tested. So we've got some testing coming up for them in the not too distant future. I'll request that we get some footage while that's happening and we'll include that in a future update for you. As you're aware, ET controllers don't actually have any analog sticks. That means that we need to make sure that the track pads are as accurate, responsive, and precise as possible. So we've been given a lot of focus for the last couple of weeks. We've been fine tuning algorithms and making sure that we're resolving any bugs associated with them to make sure that they meet our expectations. Another important request that came in from the community over the last couple of weeks was to see whether or not ET can withstand handstands and push-ups. So I thought I'd get together some footage for you. Here's Sue demonstrating. I want to thank you for watching and being a backer of ET. If you want to leave any comments, feel free and I will review them for you. Also, if you want to join our Discord community, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the second June update towards the end of the month.